and changing us, we travel with a scientist to the glacier at Brickdales Breen, which has retreated more than 100 metres in less than a year. Daniel Bircher reports. Winter is claiming back the Brickdales Breen glacier. This is the edge of Norway's biggest ice field. But the ice here is disappearing. Even now, in November, it's melting. The glacier is in retreat, and it's happening much faster than anyone had expected. We were here this summer. We left um, at, in August. We've joined a team from Southampton University. They've been studying the ice field for five years. The change since their last visit, just three months ago, has been dramatic. My, yeah, it's all gone, <laughs> basically. That central piece there, that was all covered in ice when you were here last? Yeah, and that absolutely. That was just three months ago. So. Yeah, it's, I can't believe it. it's all gone. The whole central bit's just collapsed. The research here has been using methods never tried before. Sensors under the ice are sending out radio signals with information on how the glacier is moving. Like noise, doesn't it? This glacier has been retreating for some time, but it's the pace of change that's alarming scientists. Even last year, the ice would have been way above my head here. This was the edge of the glacier then. But it's now moved more than 100 metres further back. And that's a big problem for the researchers. They didn't have time to recover some of their most important equipment, which is now somewhere down in that lake. But they're in luck. They find it partly submerged in the icy water. Inside this case, a receiver that's been collecting vital data. But it's in bad shape. Okay. What should we find inside? Oh, that's clever. It's full of water. With the electronics <laughs> soaked, it's unlikely this will yield much of use. But they remain optimistic. Well, we're hoping this data will have communicated to some of the probes, hopefully just when the ice was collapsing at its most exciting point. And so we'll find out what, uh, what that kind of data looks like for the first time. The good news is that they already have measurements going back over two years and they're confident they'll help predict how these giant reservoirs of ice may respond to a warming world. What we're learning about how the ice moves and how it moves over the sediment underneath it, we can then apply to other areas of the globe, such as Greenland and Antarctica. Well, I'm right underneath the glacier here. It's still safe for now. But all around, you can hear the trickle of meltwater. The ice is breaking up. And that's why the research here is being abandoned. And the scientists are having to look for a new ice field to carry on their work. There are natural cycles at work. Climate change may have accelerated that process. Whatever the cause, the search for answers here has now been brought to a premature end. Daniel Bircher, BBC News, Brixdalen, Norway. Football and Celtic.